Good morning. Before I get into um, this video, I wanted to show you um, one of the things I harvested from my garden yesterday. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Look at the size of this sucker. <laughs> Man. I, I harvested another one that was about the same size, 15 inches long. And uh, my ex-husband weighed it because it's what he planted in the garden from seed. Um, and, uh, well, he grew the seedlings at his house and then he planted it in my garden. Uh, he weighed the last one. It was over three pounds. And surprisingly, I didn't want to uh, let them get so big because uh, I was worried that the seeds would be, you know, hard and woody. But um, no, not at all. And all glory to the Lord because I don't have a green thumb. I do the best I can. I don't keep up with the weeds necessarily. I don't keep up with the bugs. Because I don't, um, I was thinking of putting like uh, Castile soap, like peppermint soap with water and spraying it on some of the leaves, like the potato leaves so the bugs wouldn't eat it. But I, ne I just never got around to it. So, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so yes so all glory to the Lord and I have butternut squash growing uh, cherry tomatoes carrots and this was my first legit garden again my ex-husband did a lot of the uh, the starter work and I've just been taking care of the garden at my house so Last night, uh, I was under spiritual attack, which is always fun. Um, you don't see a lot of Christians talk about it. When they talk about spiritual attack, they talk about, you know, other people getting into arguments with them. They're like, oh, we're under spiritual attack. Well, you know, that may, they, that may be one form, but... Um, the form I'm talking about is I actually get spiritually attacked at night between 2 and 3 a.m., which is a prime time for witchcraft, I guess, which is weird because 2 and 3 a.m. is different, you know, in different places. So I don't, I don't understand, um, you know, because my, my 2 or 3 a.m. isn't somebody else's 2 or 3 a.m., so... Anyhow, um, I'm not sure if there's actually people doing witchcraft ceremonies when, um, when you're under attack, but all of the movies, predictive programming, commercials, music, um, holidays, all of it's witchcraft. All of it's a form of satanic ceremonial witchcraft. So anyhow, I wasn't sure why I was under attack specifically, you know, last night. They do have like high witchcraft days like, you know, May 1st, Halloween. Um, I don't even know what other days, but um, yeah, so last night I was under attack in my dreams. Early on in my walk. I used to be, I used to feel vulnerable um, when I was under attack um, because I didn't, I didn't have a lot of knowledge and understanding. Um, I didn't have as close of a relationship with the Lord, which means relationship with truth. You know, the more truth and knowledge that you acquire, the, the stronger you become. Because once you know truth, um, that that's your sword. That's your strength. The Lord is your rock. The, when, you're, when you're standing on the rock, when you're standing on truth, um, things like being under spiritual attack, you know that Satan can't harm you. You know that the Lord Jesus Christ has you. 
so you don't feel as threatened. So last night in my dream, it was bizarre. In my dream, I was being attacked by <laughs> an exercise machine. <laughs> like if you think of, um, I used to own a Bowflex years ago, over a decade ago. I used to own a Bowflex and it was like, it was like a Bowflex, you know, moving on either side of me. I, I don't, and I, it was just bizarre. And in my dream, this was happening in my bedroom, my bedroom here, in my dream. And in my dream, I got up out of bed, walked around the exercise machine, and I turned the light on. And when I did that, I woke up from the dream, and I just said, I rebuke you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, again, when I was, you know, early on, you feel vulnerable, but now I just feel aggravated. <laughs> like, I just want to go back to sleep. <laughs> so, anyhow, yes, there are, you know, such things as uh, spiritual attack. I've also, uh, before I tell you, you know, an another way um, this whole spiritual um, things that can happen some people call it paranormal or whatever um, or uh, supernatural or whatever um, before I tell you this testimony this part of my testimony I'm gonna let you know that I speak truth that um, I have a very healthy fear that I you know people who come out and say that they've had prophetic dreams when they weren't from the Lord and people who I believe have possib possibly possibly <laughs> one of my Sean Connery <laughs> possibly <laughs> I haven't lost my mind I promise <laughs> um who have possibly stretched the truth you know um exaggerated lied about you know their testimony or or lied about anything when it comes to their walk with the Lord it, I've noticed that you know their part of their punishment and their judgment is the Lord has placed them under strong delusion the Lord has given them over to a reprobate mind. They have an unsound, unstable mind. And the way they behave, what I've witnessed, and I've seen other people's testimonies from like 20 months ago, the start of my walk, I, I, I'm, I've been witness to certain videos of people, you know, uh, 20 months ago and the same individuals today and it's like it's so obvious that they are just becoming more and more delusional they're waxing worse and it's a healthy fear so you know when you see that when you see it's very real that the Lord does place strong delusions upon people 2 Thessalonians 2 10 and 11 that you don't want the Lord to do that to you. <laughs> so you are very careful and, and very thoughtful and very cautious about what you say and do because it's like, wow, I just, you know, I pray to the Lord, please don't place a strong delusion upon me. So when I, when I share certain parts of my testimony, it's the truth, whether somebody wants to believe it or not. You know, that's their testimony, but I know my walk. I know that everything I say I have to answer to, so I'm, I'm pretty straight. I'm on that straight, narrow path. So, um, the beginning of my walk, um, one instance of being under spiritual attack is my laptop, my electronics, uh, turned on between 2 and 3 a.m. around the time of now did I check the time I don't check every single time when I wake up when I'm under attack but in the beginning of my walk 
I would physically get up because I was disturbed by it. And I remember one night my laptop turned on by itself. And uh, somebody could say, oh, well, um, Satan's prince of the power of the air. I don't think it's just meaning electronics. I think that, you know, this under the firmament in this dimension or whatever you want to call it, um, this is Satan's system. So, I mean, he... You could say it's electronics, but you could also say it's in this atmosphere or dimension. So anyhow, my laptop turned on. So which when you're in a sound sleep uh, and you're you're living by yourself, you're only you and your little dog and and your electronics turn on, I jolted awake and um uh, I keep my bedroom door open and I see my uh, living room area lit up and I come in here and the it only had kicked on for two or three seconds right so I was like all right that was weird um, I was a little shooken up and scared because again nothing like that's ever happened before so what I did was after that night, I shut my laptop, you know, I just closed it because I'm like, there's no way, at least I thought, there was no way that it can turn on when it's closed. It's completely shut. Well, lo and behold, um, I, don't, I don't know if it was the following night, but it was soon after that, again, it happened. I was sound asleep. And I heard a voice in the living room area, but it was coming from the laptop like like a video was playing for two or three seconds. And I heard a couple words from a male's voice. And I jolted awake again, looking in the living room, and the whole room was lit up again in blue. It was lit up blue like if you have your laptop open. You know how it has like a blue light um, coming from the screen um, so but I, I, I get up <laughs> I walk in the living room my laptop is closed it's closed and I'm you know I'm baffled by it I'm, st I'm still a little shook up by it not now I'm not shook up by it now but when it was happening then I'm like I didn't think laptops could turn on when it was closed okay so um, then I came across someone's video about you know how um, their electronics would would go haywire um, as well and um, even they would have um, light bulbs blow out or whatever so uh, it was nice to come across another video that was a little similar. I've never had light bulbs uh, blow um, out around me, but um, yes, I've had the laptop do that twice at the beginning of my walk. Has it happened lately? No, it hasn't. It hasn't happened at all lately. But uh, spiritual attack comes in different forms. So... I believe I was under spiritual attack um, because I've been a little bit more bold about speaking about certain things and um, and you know that Satan doesn't want the truth to be out there so yes I'm touching on uh, sensitive cords I guess in the spiritual warfare aspects but um, again I'm not I, I'm not as vulnerable as I used to be. There's strength in the Lord Jesus Christ. And before, when I used to be attacked before, it would help me that um, after it happened, um, I'd opened up his word and I would read from Psalms. That, would, that was comforting to me, where it gave me strength when I read from Psalms and then I'd go back to bed. But, um, yes, stay close to the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, you're not the only one who goes through some of the things that you go through. 
I've had spiritual attacks where I've had sleep paralysis in the beginning not not now I haven't had sleep paralysis now but where I would I couldn't say the Lord's name I couldn't even mouth the word Jesus because I was I was uh, paralyzed um, I couldn't move but the closer I became to the Lord the I, the I didn't have any problems with that anymore so again there's strength their strength. I'm just sharing my testimony to let you know that the more you talk to the Lord, the more you um, give thanks for everything. That everything in your life is, is, you know, give credit to the Lord. Just like my vegetable garden, every time I have food in front of me, my car, I have two reliable vehicles. Um, my children are all right. Just every single thing, like when nothing adventurous happens, when I'm walking the dogs, um, I just, I just think of the Lord because it is an amazing thing when you think about every second of every day. The Lord is watching over his. Just think about that. Every second of every day, the Lord is watching over his. You know, he's taking care of you even when you don't think he is. He's hearing you even though you don't, you know, you may have doubts in your mind that, that he's with you. He is with you. When you have his Holy Spirit, he's with you all the time. You don't necessarily even have to have words that he just, he, he knows what you're thinking, he knows what you're feeling, and he's with you. So I hope I planted a good seed. Uh, spiritual attacks are real. And um, yes, and it's, uh, it's, becoming you see it carnally you see a lot of things carnally happening it's a carnal manifestation of what's happening spiritually so the things that you know the right left paradigm the twin system it's like the antichrist is rising okay and um if you can't see that then uh you really need to you know, check in with the Lord and um, and ask for truth. Ask for truth with all your heart. You know, if you if you desire truth more than anything, He will give it to you. As long as you keep yourself humble and you're willing to let go of the lies, the indoctrination. So I love you. I hope everyone is having a good end to their week. And God bless.